Hello, my Yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome, or welcome back, to my crochet channel. Now, today's video is a poncho, and we're calling this the Grateful Granny Poncho because of the beautiful fall colors of this yarn, and we'll talk more about yarn in just a second. And it also has sort of a granny stitch vibe. It's a super easy pattern. We're alternating rows of double crochets with triple crochets skip two. And it makes a beautiful poncho. It's perfect for fall weather. And the truth is it's perfect for any time of year. I made it in fall colors, but you could make it in any colors. It would be beautiful in ombres, other long striping yarns, or just get in your yarn stash and put whatever colors that you have together. Now, what we did with this pattern is we made it into four sizes. It is a big roomy pattern, okay? And so what we did is we made it into a Size number one, which is an extra small, small size. We did a, a size number two, which is your medium to large size. We did a size number three, that is the extra large 2X. And then we did a size four, which is the 3X, 4X size. All right, and the measurements start with the neck measurement. This is the medium large one, and you can see how wide the neck measurements are. When we get started, I will give you the neck measurements as well and talk about the length. If you can't wait, you can go ahead and click that link that's down below the video. It'll take you right over to the blog that has all that information on it. But we're gonna cover that when we get started. Okay, but you're gonna find this is a super uh, fun, easy, and also makes a great gift it's just basic stitches, and we finish off with just a couple of rows of a really simple trim. The idea of this was just to make a warm, but not too hot, poncho that you could use any medium weight number four with and come up with some really neat designs as far as your yarn, because it's a super simple two row repeat and we increase every row because of the way we do the points on the poncho. And it is just a two point poncho, all right? I kind of call it a uh, cattle poncho because it is not intended to be a big long poncho, although you could make it as long as you want to. It's more just intended to throw on over like a sundress or an evening dress if you make it in beautiful colors, or maybe just jeans and a t-shirt and you want just a little extra on your arms. So it's really, really a versatile pattern, all right? Now, as I mentioned a couple seconds ago, you can click that link that's down underneath the video in that description box for all the information that you need, along with pictures, of course. So the yarn that I use to make my poncho is Yarnspirations Karen big cakes all right and the color is called cranberry crisp now isn't that just perfect for thanksgiving i mean we all love cranberry sauce <laughs> i think that i love this yarn so much because it does have those fall colors but it has some purples and cranberry in there that really really make this pattern beautiful all right, it is a medium weight number four acrylic yarn, and this is some left from my second cake. All right, now to give you the amounts that you're going to need for the sizes. For the size number one, the extra small, small size, you're going to need 10.5 ounces. For the medium to large, you're going to need 12 ounces. For the extra large 2X, you'll need 13.5 ounces. And for the 3X, 4X, <laughs> you'll need 15 ounces. Now those are approximates because remember, you may want it shorter or longer, and you can add as many rows as you want to make it longer, okay? Those are what you're going to need. And again, 
I know it's a lot of information. I am going to be giving you a lot of information so that you can make it to fit. And so I really encourage you to click that link that's underneath this video in the description box so you can see it. You can always copy and paste that portion that you need so that you can have it, all right, you know, to look at. Now we are going to be stitching with an eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And then besides that, you just need your scissors and a needle, there it is, for weaving in ends, all right? I'll also talk to you at the end of the video about the tie if you want to tighten up the neck and how to add some fun beads to it as well. We're going to be starting with the neck band and working our way down. All right, so let me give you some measurements and then I'll tell you how many stitches that we need, okay? So for size one, extra small, small, the neck opening is approximately 28 inches around. For size number two, which is the medium large, your neck opening is approximately 32 inches around. For the extra large 2X, your neck opening is approximately 36 inches around. And then for size number four, which is our 3X, 4X, your neck opening is 40 inches around. And that is a large neck opening on all of those sizes. It is intended to be roomy, and that's why we're going to put a tie around that so that you can adjust that a little bit when you're wearing it. But again, this poncho is made to be roomy and comfortable so that it fits you know, comfortably over your clothing. All right, again, I, I know I already said this twice, go to the blog there, hit that link that's underneath this video so that you can look at that. And also remember, those are approximate sizes because we all have different tension. Now, as far as the length of the poncho, you know it will get bigger every row. And um, if you want it to be a lot longer, just do as many rows as you need for the length that you want. And that's where it's a good idea to keep that tape measure handy so you can measure as you go. Three rows of the poncho when we're going around the rows coming down or rounds measure approximately three rows measure two inches. And again, I always say approximately because we all stitch differently. All right. All right, let's get started. We're going to begin with our foundation double crochets. So if you're stitching the extra small small, you're going to need 94. If you're stitching the medium large, you're going to need 102. If you're stitching the extra large 2X, you'll need 110. And if you're stitching the 3X, 4X, you're going to need 118. And remember, we're going to count that chain three at the beginning as our first stitch. All right. And I like to use foundation double crochet at the neck on this because it does give it a stretchy beginning. All right, so we're going to put our slip knot on. We're going to chain four. Yarn over, go in that fourth chain from the hook and pull up a loop. Yarn over and only go through that first loop. Yarn over and go through the next two. Yarn over and go through the next two. And that chain three I'm talking about is this one right here. We count that as our first stitch. All right, so now we yarn over, we go in that chain stitch that we made, make our next one, and then finish our double crochet. And so we're basically making our chain and then our double crochet at the same time. And this makes a really nice stretchy band. All right, so I'm going to be making the medium size for our demo, all right, because that's the size, it's the medium large, and that's the size that I'm going to be wearing. Now, I normally wear an extra large, but this is a large roomy poncho. So remember, measure as you go, and keep in mind, it is going to be a roomy poncho. All right, so that means that I'm going to stitch 102 foundation double crochet. 
crochets. Oh, another tip, if you have trouble finding that chain stitch, you can always use a stitch marker and mark it, like mark it here, and then when you go to do your next stitch, you'll know where to go in. Then do your first chain and you can move your stitch marker. When I was first learning how to do the foundation double crochet, I used a stitch marker to mark that particular chain stitch on each of the stitches. All right, so we're doing a row of foundation double crochets for the amount that you need for the size that you're making. So I have stitched 102 foundation double crochets because I'm making the medium large size. Now you'll notice that I have stitch markers and what I did is I stitched 10 marked it, stitch 10, marked it all the way around into those last ones where I was going to need 12 because 102 I'm going to need um, 12. Okay, now remember to count this chain three at the beginning as your first stitch. Now we're going to join it in a circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out all these stitch markers. That's just something that I do to make it a lot easier so I don't have to keep recounting as I go along. I do, however, go ahead and count again at the end just to make sure I'm correct. All right. So we're going to join this without twisting it. All right. Because we want to make this the neck of our poncho. All right. So. Oh, I left a stitch marker. There we go. All right, so let's bring this around. All right, so we're going to put the ends together. We don't want them to be twisted because we don't want a twist in our poncho. All right, so we're going to join to that chain three with a slip stitch. And we're going to chain four chains. All right, I'm going to make a big loop because what we're going to do next is we're going to close up this gap. So we're going to take that tail of yarn and we're going to thread it on our needle and put the two ends together. There we go. And stitch that up. Now you could do this at the end. I just really like to do it at the beginning then I don't have to worry about it. I can go ahead and weave this end in. and know that I don't have to come back and do it later. Alrighty, so we'll clip that. And now row one or round one is complete. We've got our band for the neck of our poncho. And this is where I really recommend that you measure Maybe put it on your neck, see where it's going to lay, and then if it's too loose, you can go down the, uh, to the next size. Or if maybe you just want it a little more comfy, you can go up to the next size. The way that round two is stitched is the same for all the sizes. The only difference is you'll have less or more repeats, okay? So we're going to begin here in this first double crochet. Our chain four counts as our first triple. All right, so we're gonna put two wraps on our hook, go in that same stitch and stitch our triple. We're going to chain two and then stitch two more triples in that same stitch. And this is going to be the point on the back of our poncho. All right, so we stitched our chain four, which counted as our first triple, a triple stitch, chain two, and two triple stitch in that same stitch. Now we're going to chain two. We're going to skip the next two stitches and stitch one triple in the next two. Two 
two wraps, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the second two, yarn over, and go through the third two, just in case you weren't sure what the triple stitch was. All right, chain two, skip two, one triple in the next two. And chain two. Now we're going to repeat this for several repeats until we reach the other side over here where we want to place our point. All right, and so it's going to be different for the different sizes. Let me get this so it stops sliding off my workspace here. All right, so we did this one, two triples, one in each of the next two. We skipped two before and two after. And so what you're going to do for the small size, you're going to repeat this 10 times so you have 11 sets of your two triples chain two. For the medium size, you're going to repeat it 11 more times so that you have a total of 12. For the extra large 2X size, you're going to repeat this 12 more times so you have a total of 13. And then of course, for the 3X, 4X size, you're going to repeat it 13 more times so that you have a total of 14 sets of two double crochet, I'm sorry, two triple crochets, chain two, and then we'll form our next point. So here is my beginning point, which is the back of my poncho. We did our chain two, skip two, two triples, chain two, skip two, and then we repeated this as many times as needed for the size. Now again, I'm making the medium uh, large, uh, or the, yes, the medium large, which is the size two, and so I need to have 12 sets of my two triples chain two, okay? And then we end with our chain two, skip two, and then in the next stitch, we're going to make our next point, which will be the front of our poncho. Now remember, you need to do as many as needed for your size. All right, so we're going to go skip two, we've chained two, and we're going to stitch our point for the front of our poncho. So we'll stitch two triples in the same stitch. We'll chain two, and then stitch two triples in that same stitch. And that's going to make the point for the beginning of our, or I mean, not the beginning. That's going to make the point for the front of our poncho. And chain two. All right, so there's the point on the front of our poncho. Now we have the second side, and we're going to repeat on this side what we did over here. So we chain two, skip two, one triple in the next two. chain two, skip two, and one triple in the next two. Oops, that was a double. Two wraps. There we go. And we'll repeat this all the way up till we reach up here and join to our chain four. All right, and you should have the same number of your sets on this side as you do on this side. All right, so we'll just repeat that till we reach that original chain four. I have completed the second side and I have the same number of sets on this side as I do on this side. All right, so here's my last chain two. We're gonna skip those last two stitches. And then we're going to go right in that chain four with a slip stitch. We're going to slip stitch in that next triple stitch and then slip stitch in the chain two space and chain three. All right. And this is how round or row two should look at this point. We've got our foundation double crochet row, and then our row of triple stitches, chain two with our two 
points of our poncho. Let's do row three. All right, so we only chain three because this row is going to be all double crochets. So we're going to stitch a double crochet because our chain three counts as our first. We're going to chain two and two double crochets in this chain two space. One and two. Now we're going to stitch a double crochet in each of these triples. Then in the chain two space, we're going to stitch two double crochets. And so what we're doing is basically making a solid row of double crochet stitches. So we'll stitch a double crochet in each of the triple stitches and two double crochets in each of the chain one, sorry, chain two spaces. One double crochet in the next two triples, two double crochets in the chain two space. And see how that makes a solid row of double crochets? And that's what we're going to do all the way around to the point, and then we'll do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, just like we did here. All right, so all sizes are stitched the same for row three. The only difference is you have more or less double crochets. depending on the size that you're making. One double crochet in each of the triples, two double crochets in the chain two spaces. We stitch that two double crochet, chain two, two double crochets in that chain two point, and then we double crocheted across, stitching one in each of the triples, two in the chain two spaces till we reach that point. Okay, and so we're going to do this the same way. We're going to double crochet in those two, one and two, and then in that chain two point, we're going to stitch two double crochets, one and two, chain two, and two double crochets, one and two. All right, and then we'll just continue on around this second side, stitching our double crochets in the chain two spaces and our double crochets in the triple stitches, just like we did on that first side, so that we have a solid row on both sides of our poncho. Alrighty, so I'll just continue that on around and we'll join back to our chain three. I told you, it's super easy poncho pattern. I have completed row three, which is our solid row of double crochet. I'm going to join to that chain four with a slip stitch. I'm going to slip stitch in that next triple slip stitch in the chain two space and chain four. All right, now what's going to happen is every row you're going to be increasing because you'll increase by two at this point and this point, and then you'll increase by two here and here. So that's two, four, six, eight stitches that you'll increase on every row. And of course, those stitch counts will be different on every size. All right, so we in the chain two space, we chained four, and we're going to be repeating this row, row two. The only difference is, of course, we've increased. So we'll have more sets. So we'll start with our point here. We have our triple. We're going to stitch another triple because the chain four counted as our first. We're going to chain two 
and stitch two triples. We're going to chain two. We'll skip the next two stitches and stitch one triple in each of, <laughs> get those two wraps on there, there we go, in each of the next two. It didn't want to wrap on my hook, did it? <laughs> All righty. And so basically we're repeating what we did on row two. We're going to chain two, skip two, and stitch two triples in the next stitch, or in the next two stitches. And what you're going to find as we work this, let me get that chain two, that once we get here, this is going to line up, and this is going to line up. So all your triples and your chain twos will line up. All right, and this of course is where we increased and so you skip the first two stitches and then began our repeat. All right, so we'll skip those two and stitch one triple in the next two stitches. And you want those triple stitches, like I said, to line up with the previous row <clears throat> of triple stitches. Alrighty, and so again, we're going to do this to the point that's at the front of our poncho. One triple in the next two. Whoops, got to have two wraps. There we go. and chain two, working all the way across. And again, our triple stitches need to line up with the previous row of triple stitches. So I have repeated that, two triples, chain two, two triples, and everything lines up until we reach the point. All right, now on row two, I only had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve sets. Now on row four, I have 14 sets on each side. And so we're increasing every row. All right, so I'm at my point here chain two, and then we're going to stitch two triples. Chain two, and two triples right in that chain two space. And chain two. And now we're gonna move across the second side and stitch those two triples. So we'll skip those first two stitches and stitch a triple in the next two. And repeat over here what we did on our first side. So chain two and two triples. There's our skip two and two triples. One in each of the next two. And again, they're gonna line up with the triples of the previous row. And so we're increasing every row. And we'll continue this across until we reach the point that's at the back of our poncho. So I have completed round or row four. You can call it a round or a row, whatever you want. So we have our two corners 
with two triples, chain two and two triples, chain two and then one triple in the next two. And you can see how everything lines up and we will be increasing every row. And again, your increases are because we're stitching those four stitches in the corners or the points on every row on the back and on the front. That's where we get our increases and you'll increase every row. So what you're going to do is you're going to continue to repeat row three, your double crochet row, and row four, your triple crochet row. And you're gonna repeat those rows for 18 more rows, alternating every other row, and you'll increase every single row. And of course, the stitch counts will be different for each size. The other thing to consider is that's a total of 22 rows. If you don't want it that long, you want it more of a cowl, do you less rows. If you want it longer, you want it to drape down, do more rows. It's up to you. That's what's really cool about this pattern is it really is quite versatile. But for the pattern that I wrote, you need to repeat row three and row four for 18 more rows, alternating every other row. So here's where we started with our first four rows, and then we continued to repeat, increasing every row. All right? And it makes a beautiful, large, drapey, comfy poncho. And I really love this particular yarn for this because it's got some bright colors and some muted colors. And of course, you can use any yarn that you prefer. So once you get done with your 22nd row, it's going to be a triple row. If you add more rows because you want it longer, or if you decide you don't want it as long, make sure that you end on one of our triple chain two, two triple rows, and then we can add this really simple, fun chain trim. So I'm going to show you how to do that fun chain trim on the demo that we were working off of. So when you finish, you've got your chain two, because we finish on our triple row with chain twos in between. You're gonna slip stitch in those two triples. You're gonna slip stitch in the chain two space, and then we're just going to stitch a single crochet. And we're going to chain five. Then you'll go to the next chain two space and single crochet and chain five. And you'll repeat this working all the way around the poncho. It makes a really nice, fun trim without being too fussy. Now, if you prefer a different trim, you certainly can do that. I just really like this one. I thought it was fun. And I actually saw it on someone's scarf. And I thought, that's a great trim for the poncho. All right, so we're just gonna go around the entire poncho, single crochet in the chain two space and chain five. Once you've gone all the way around your poncho doing this, you're going to join back to that single crochet, then you're going to go in that chain five space and single crochet, and this time we're going to chain six. And then single crochet in that chain five space and chain six. single crochet in the next chain five space 
and chain six. And repeat that, working all the way around the bottom of the poncho. And see how that makes just a really nice chain, almost a lace look to it. But like I said, it's not too fussy. It's just perfect for this poncho. Single crochet in the chain five space, chain six, and repeat. So here is the trim all the way around the bottom of my poncho. And I think it just adds just a fun touch on the edge. And now the last thing I want to show you is how you can make a tie to go around the top of your poncho if you feel like the neck of the top of the neck of the poncho is just too big. It's really simple. I'll show you how to do that. And also, I like to add a few beads for a little bit of weight and fun. So this part is optional. You don't have to add beads. You don't have to add a tie. I just want to because I think it's super fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a long tail so that we can put those beads on when we're done. All right, and then we'll make our slip knot, and then we're going to chain 100 chains. If you'd like your tie longer, chain more. If you don't want it quite that long, then don't chain 100. But 100 works great for my size, which is the medium large. All right, so I'm just going to chain 100 chains. And I started with a nice, long, about 10 inch tail of yarn. So here is the chain that I made and I have 100 chains and I have two long tails on my yarn. Okay, I picked out some wooden beads that I'm going to use, but we're not going to put those on till after we put it on the poncho. So I'm going to grab my poncho and show you how to lace that through. We're going to put the lace through that beginning row of foundation double crochets. So here's my front and that's where I want it to be and here's the back. So what I like to do is take my hook and go in and out every two stitches like this. One, two, one, two. You can do three, you can do one, it's up to you. But I like to go backwards and then I'll just grab that chain and pull that through. All right, and we'll do this until we've worked all the way around because we want the tie to tie in the front of our poncho. It gives it a little bit of a hippie feel too, which I kind of like. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to continue working this through, going in every two stitches for a nice consistent look. In and out every two stitches. Just for a few, then I'll grab that. And I sort of hold it a little bit. Let me bring this down a little. There we go. I just think it makes it easier to lace it through. All right. So I'm going to do that the rest of the way around to the front. I have laced my lace all the way through. I tied a little bow here. And now I want to add some beads to the end of my ties, just for fun. So I'm going to thread the yarn onto my needle. And I love wooden beads, so I've just chosen some small wooden beads. I'm going to push those up. Oops, I want to do the lighter one and then the darker one. All right, now we don't want those beads to come off, all right? So I'm going to push them to the bottom of the chain and then I'm going to go in the second bead and the third bead so that it goes around the bottom bead like that and then I'm just going to go in that chain a couple of times so it doesn't come undone forms a knot and then I'm going to go right back down those beads and then I'll just cut that 
And that's going to make my beads stay put. Isn't that cute? All right, let's do the other one. And I'm going to do it the same. And again, you don't have to add beads to yours. It's just something fun I like to do. And it also gives the tie a little bit of weight. Okay, so I pushed it up. We want it to be right on the end of our chain. We're going to go in that second and third bead. We're going to make a couple of stitches that will make little knots that will hold it. And see how I'm going through fibers and stitches of the chains. And then we'll go in and go right back down through all those beads. And I pull it a little bit snug and cut it and then give it just a little bit of a pull. That way it hides that thread up inside there. All right, so that's how you can add some fun beads to your poncho if you want to. I love it. I, I like a little touch of beads and I also really love wooden beads. All right, so this is our Grateful Granny Poncho. I hope you'll make some. They're really easy and very versatile.